Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be talking about Auto Hockey's portable version. Now, a lot of things that come up is, especially in the work environment, is obviously they have like you know their security and stuff on their computers, their network. And if you download Auto Hockey's, you know I've had this at an old job that I had where it gets flagged because it doesn't know what it is, and you want to run some scripts and you're just you know having no luck so the portable version is a version that you don't really have to install it onto your computer it's kind of standalone with no installation you know prompt or all that and at least at my position when i was doing this i was able to get around that security and be able to do that now obviously it's recommended that you still ask for permission because yeah you know they're very strict on that kind of stuff a lot of times but it just made my life a lot easier because I was able to take auto hotkeys, put it onto a USB thumb drive or an external hard drive, and also put my scripts on there if I needed to do something testing real quick versus having to download it on every single computer where I was trying to run a script, do something, or just to test it. This made life just so much easier. Um, so obviously these links are going to be in the description below. Um, you can also just simply Google it, um, but we also want to have an IDE reader, or sorry, IDE, uh, where we can do our editing. Now, if you don't want to do this, obviously, you can always just you open Notepad on the person's computer and just save it as an AHK file. Uh, if you're just doing something real quick, but if you want to have it, you can download it. Obviously, there's other, uh, you know, programs out there you could do, but I'm going to go with Notepad++. Uh, links in the description, or you can just Google uh, Notepad++ Portable or Downloads, and here we go. So this is just the version that's time of video. Uh, just download the newest one if you want. Um, but you'll see right here, there is the installer. All my videos that I've done in the past, this is what I was using. But for the portable version, obviously, you're just going to click the portable one right here. It's going to download to your computer. And it's not a very big... Uh, file um let's see how big it is actually just under six megabytes so it's nothing um <clears throat> auto hockey's is even smaller than that and then scripts are going to be like nothing not even one megabyte even pretty intensive ones uh you're not going to need a huge thumb drive i mean i right now have i think it's like a two gigabyte uh one hooked up and that does what i need just fine uh, so, yeah, you're going to download Notepad++. Go ahead, run through unzipping it with whatever program uh, that you are using. Then you're going to want to jump over to the Auto Hotkeys main page. And normally, we would use the setup. Uh, let me fix that in the window here so you can see better. Normally, you would just do the setup here and download, you know, if you want version 1 or version 2. But we need to download the zip code. Or zip code the zip file can't talk today um, once again version one version two for me i have both versions so i download both version one and two uh, it just makes it happen a lot easier i don't have to convert old scripts real quick to new scripts uh, it's just nice to have both in my opinion but yeah you just you know click on it it's going to download and let's see how big that one is uh, three megabytes so yeah smaller uh, obviously, it'll be a little bigger if you get both. Um, but yeah, once again, run through that process. Here is what we end up with. We got Notepad++ zip, uh, Auto Hotkeys version 2 zip. Uh, but then we unzip them, and here's the Notepad++ one. So it has all this stuff. Here's the one you're going to be launching, the application. No installation required. Just And this is my thumb drive you're looking at right now. Or sorry, this is my desktop. And here's the auto hockey one for version two. So pretty simple. So go ahead and take these two folders, drag and drop them into your USB. So let me go ahead and plug that in. And I already have them on there. Um, but yeah, there they are. So there's both of those. So here's auto hockeys. I can go in. Uh, I wrote a script right here. I'll go ahead and open that. Uh, we'll open a notepad plus plus. And it's pretty simple. It's just F1 is the hotkey message box. This is a string. You know, pretty simple. It's just for testing. 
I put that onto my thumb drive. I put it in this folder. You can put it wherever you want, obviously. Um, but yeah, well, let's go ahead and run this. So we're going to obviously want to grab it and drag it onto one of these, depending on your system. Um, but yeah, so you just go ahead, you drop it on. Give it like a split second. We're going to go ahead, press F1. And there's our message box. So this is running off of the thumb drive, really easy. Um, you know, you can open Notepad++ just by going to the one labeled application. There it is. I already had it open, so it was pretty quick. But yeah, this is just a super simple way to have it portable. So if you're on someone's computer, especially in a work environment, or maybe you want to share a script with someone, this is a way to do it. It does get past a lot of security uh, problems that you might run into, but it's not guaranteed to get past everything. You know, I've had jobs where... Even though I could download AutoHotKey's portable, I could save my script. When I went to run the script, it's still going to see it as an AHK file, which a lot of the systems might not know what it is. Uh, I did a video uh, way back when, maybe a year or two ago, where I kind of talk about the process there of what I've experienced. And just kind of, you know, it doesn't hurt to reach out to the IT department and explain why you need this. And they can pretty much unflag it, whitelist it, saying like, okay, you can run auto hotkeys on your computer. Or uh, I even had an experience where they created a folder onto like a cloud. And that folder, anything that ran in from there that was AHK was fine, but wouldn't run other places. So it was just, you know, at least it gave me the option um, to run from that folder. Or they could just flag it across the entire system. But it's just something you have to work with your IT department or talk to your boss on what direction to take. Uh, real quick, make sure to subscribe. I'm throwing out, you know, videos every week about automation, mostly in auto hotkeys. But I do like to branch out from time to time. Now, if you have any questions about this video, definitely let me know in the comments below. You know, I usually say 50 likes or more and I'll do a follow-up video, but I don't really know what I would do, but if you have an idea, let me know, and maybe I can come up with an idea. Who knows? Now, once this is on my USB, these right here, I can go ahead and delete them off my actual computer. I had no longer need them. I can unplug the USB drive, and now I can pretty much jump on, obviously, in the Windows computer, because this will not work on a Mac or a Linux, unless you're running some type of emulator program on there. And even then, I'm honestly not 100% sure how well that works. I have no Mac, so I've never been able to test it. All right, everybody. Hope this helps, and I will see you all on the next video. Bye.